following me, Ron Antonori, on my journey drinking across America, coming at you this week from small town USA. Yeah, we are in Warm Springs, Georgia, in Eleanor's Alley. We are about one hour south of Atlanta, an hour north of Columbus, Georgia, situated in the Pine Mountain area. Uh, so if you like mountains, you like small towns, this is the place to be. We are going to get laid this afternoon at the Goose and Hogs End of Summer Luau Party. All your favorite beers, your favorite burgers. We've got Ain't Right going to be performing live this afternoon. And our beautiful hostess, Sonia Adams, we'll be talking to her a little bit later on, getting her input on owning Goose, Goose and Hogs and the Warm Springs Cellars which we will be visiting also. It is the local wine and craft beer bar. They offer cheese and bread boards along with your favorite local wines and beers. So all you drinkers across America, pop open your favorite beer, uncork that bottle of wine, mix up your favorite drink, kick back in your favorite chair and get ready to follow me on the next journey of drinking across America. Salute. Hi, right, we are here at the Wine Springs Cellars, drinking across America with your host, Ron Antonori, and I am here with my hostess, the lovely Dawn, and she is going to tell us a little bit about some of these fabulous wines that they have at the Warm Springs Cellars. So, what kind of, uh, what all do we have here? We are so excited for you to come into Warm Springs Cellars and give us a try. We have everything from a sweet, fruity wine all the way to a nice, white, summer white. And what's so awesome about these wines is we went all the way to North Georgia wineries. It's like three and a half hours away to save you the trip. Yeah. And we went and literally handpicked each and every wine, what we thought would be a great blush, ah, a cool. white, some wonderful dries right now, and uh, the fruity ones as well. Mm -hmm. We have Purity represented. We have uh, Crane Creek. We have local ones such as Five Points Berries that's right out of Malt, Georgia, all blueberry oh, okay. wine as well as cool. River Bend, right in Pine Mountain. So we are uh, supporting Georgia wines. And we like to do that on Drinking Across America. We are definitely part of supporting local wineries, breweries, distilleries, the local drinking scene all across America. Okay. And we are definitely going to have to get a sample of, uh, let's do six of your favorite wines. Oh my goodness, that's going to be our choice. Um, a little bit of everything, you know, I figure six, we can get a little bit of everything going on and uh, get a so. good idea of some of the wines because we do have a flight of beer as well poured there, some of the local beers. So we will be trying beer and wine, which well, I'll we will tell both you love. one of my absolute favorite tastings and that would be coming on down mm -hmm. here riding the fruit train. Ah. This, is, this is what I call a fruit train. You've got your muscadine, you've got your peach, your strawberry and your blackberry. All of them are wonderful perfect yeah. wines to have all together and which wine is this winery this is, is this from Purine. oh and where are they located that at is up in i think around tacoa okay mm -hmm. You hop on that wine carousel and we're going to find your favorite. Sounds good to me. We'll go ahead and let Dawn pour up our wines, take a quick break, get your favorite drink, your favorite wine, your favorite beer fans, kick back in your favorite chair. We'll be right back right after this, continuing the journey drinking across America. Okay, welcome back, drinking fans, to Drinking Across America with me, your host, Ron Antonori, and I'm here with Sonia Adams, the owner of Wine Warm Springs Cellars and Goose and Hogs, which we're going to be going to a little bit later, checking out some of the beer and burgers over there and the live entertainment. So tell us, Sonia, what got you into uh, the wine scene and wanting to open up this fabulous well, place? I fell in love with this building. And so a uh, long time ago, my grandparents, they made wine. And I worked at another winery for a while and I started Art Nights. And I saw this place and I figured, why not? Yeah. So we took a wild leap and here we are. And she's cool. Don over here, Don Pogue, has been my right-hand girl from the start. Yeah. That's cool. And how long have you been open? We have been open since December 16th, so okay. almost two years. Almost year two years? Yes. Okay, that is awesome. Going up on two years. That is cool. And a uh, nice little selection of craft yes. beers Thank as well. You. And I like all the local, you know, having the local wines, the local beers. Yes. That's what we're all about, you know. And nice little town, Warm Springs. Uh, Want to show us around, maybe uh, sure. see you got the little back room here. I remember when I first saw it, I thought, oh my gosh, somebody should fix up the courtyards. And yeah. So, here. Yeah, that's always nice, you know, especially in the spring, summer, fall, and the 
in the uh, south, well, more of the spring and the fall. The summer's a little too hot, uh, unless you got some good shade trees out there to block the sun. <laughs> exactly. Well, you guys walked actually through Houdini's gates, and so uh -huh. the owner of the building before I took it over, Preston, he um, is a collector. So okay. he gifted us with a lot of the Hollywood things that you see in here, this is... all the way from Magic to MGM. Ah, that is cool. And uh, you have live entertainment here? We do. We often feature the live entertainment in front of the Houdini curtain. And if it weather cool. permits, we do it outside. That is nice. Yes, this is very nice. Nice. I like it. Always have. It's, it, it's got a nice feel to it. Nice nostalgic look. And well, you know, I appreciate that because I did the renovations. I did. Every day after work, I ah. came down and was either grinding or painting. or A Jill of all trades, you know? <laughs> Exactly. Yes, All this and a bag of chips, huh? Bag of wine. Bag of wine. wine. Yeah. A bottle of wine. A bottle yes, of wine. yes, a bottle of wine. Box or of wine. box yeah. of wine. Yes, yeah. that's, that was the next on the list. We'll work our way down to it. Exactly. All right. Well, everyone, we are glad to have you joining us on this episode of Drinking Across America with the lovely Sonia Adams. We will be talking to her later on, I'm sure, over at Goose and Hogs and getting laid yes. on Saturday afternoon. This okay. is the end of summer luau party it is it oh. is and we will have our october fest on october 12th so october hopefully you 12th. guys can come back that would be nice that would be nice all right guys pop open your favorite bottle of wine pour that glass of beer mix up your favorite drink and get ready as we get ready to try this flight of wine coming at you from the warm springs cellars in warm springs georgia we're going to talk a little bit about the wine real quick that they have offered. We got six tastings. Okay, so have you ever done the official No, I have tasting? not. All right, well, wine virgin, we're going to go ahead and change that. Oh, so yes, popping the cherry. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> I'm a lucky guy. <laughs> All right, so this very first one you're going to try is the Enotop. Whenever you do a wine tasting, you're going to remember your three S's. So first you're going to see your wine uh -huh. and hold it up to the light. Now if you tilt your glass back, and we're going to look at this again when we do the tangled, you're going to notice these little drops that go uh -huh. back from the water line. Yeah. Those are your legs. Okay. The bigger the legs, the greater the alcohol content. So you want big uh -huh. legs in your wine. Yes, always. All right, so next smell your wine. Mmm. Mm, smells good. A little okay. sweet. Musky diny. It isn't muscadine. It is actually great. Okay, it smells but you pick kind up that of little like bit of yeah. Almost like a citrus to it. Yeah. Okay, next what I want you to do is give it a good little swirl. swirl and okay. this opens it up so 80% of your taste is connected to your smell. Okay. And so this just lets it enjoy you enjoy it more, not I am being fancy with my wine. Yeah. Smell again. Oh yeah. Now you can smell the buttery notes yeah. of this also. Yeah. All right, next you get to sip. Sip. So uh, the best First part. Sip, you're going to swish around <laughs> okay. in your mouth. That's basically your palate cleanser that's okay. going to get rid of all of your flavors through the day. Your second and third sip will give you the true taste of your wine. Okay. So Sounds salute. good. Salute. Mm. Mm. Now, this is a Chardonnay, mm. and they actually age it good. at Crane Creek Vineyards. They do it in their oak barrel. And okay. so you're going to detect just with the grapes, the way it combines a slight undercurrent of coconut, wow. which is why this is my favorite summer wine. Yeah, it, it does have that little sweetness you can, I'm picking up on that. Now that you mentioned the coconut, I was one of, I could tell a little sweetness that was different. Mm -hmm. It is, you can definitely pick that up. It is. That is it good. Is yeah. That's definitely a good choice. Well, Very sweet. So Flavorful. That is What's from Crane Creek Vineyards. Crane Creek? Yes. And where is and that located at? Young Harris, Georgia. Young Harris. Yes, Young okay. Harris, Georgia. They're one cool. of my favorite places to go. Yeah. All right, well, we got wine number two. So we need to get you a cracker. Okay. Got to cleanse the palate. And so this next one is going to be your Brass Town Red, also from Crane Creek Vineyards. And so okay. this is just a really, really nice red blend. So you're going to have a little splash of Chambersone, which is going to um, just sweeten slightly that Norton. Okay. But it's nice. It's dry. Perfect well. with red meats or just sipping. It's got a nice color to it. Very nice. It's like mulberry. Mm hmm. Try it. Mm. And what style is this again? That one is just a red blend. Oh, just a red so blend? Okay, I was going to say because it's, it's not as. Um, 
tanniny as a Merlot and it's not as sweet as a cab. Yes, it is very smooth and so it's going mm. to be the Norton, which is um, indigenous to essentially the areas from Virginia all the way up through North Georgia. Okay, that is and very good. And then you good. have a slight splash of Chambersan, so it's a nice red blend. Yes, that is very right. good. So wine drinkers, remember these wineries. If you're anywhere in the Georgia area from Georgia or if you're not, keep them in mind the next time you want a good bottle of wine. All right, so now that we've laid you, we're gonna make you blush. The Mountain Harvest Blush is also Crane Creek, so the first three wines that you're going to try are featured from Crane Creek. Good. Nice pink color to it. Yes, and this actually has that splash of Chambersan just to make the white wine have that beautiful color. Not too sweet. Very smooth. This is something you could very, very well drink it is. a glass or two on a nice, warm, hot summer day here in Georgia. It is, and I love the name Harvest too. So mm -hmm. it also carries that into fall. All right. All right. So far, so good. Three down, three to go. Now you're going to lighten. Now, actually, I threw in an extra one there. So ah. this one is going to be Tangled. Tangled. So we make a joke, everybody has their own Tangled story. It is about 18% alcohol content. Ooh. And Bob Dylan fans, it is named after Bob Dylan's Tangled Up in Blue. She is going to get me laid and drunk today, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Only at the cellars. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ah. There we go. Now that one is Ooh. going to hit you more like a blueberry brandy. 18% yes. is right at that cutoff where it becomes Yeah, lighter. you can smell the blueberry and the higher alcohol in it. Oh, you can feel it. Mm, threaten me with a good mm. time. I'll tell you what, that is actually <laughs> wonderful with steak. Mm, so that is the good. gentleman who makes this is actually from Connecticut and up in the Northeast, they cure a lot of their steaks in a blueberry sauce. Okay. And so you wouldn't think of pairing blueberry with uh, steak, but it's actually wonderful. This is good. It doesn't drink like it's that high in alcohol. <laughs> We are joined by the lovely Dawn, going to finish up this little flight of wine and go ahead and tell us a little bit about what we've got going on. All aboard the fruit train. Are you ready for this? Oh, yes. All right. So what we're going to start out with is a locally grown Muscadine. Georgia is known for the Muscadine grape. Yes, they it's are. A, it's a native grape to uh, Georgia. So let's go ahead and get you a little. All right. A spot of muscadine. All now, right. I know that you probably went over this in the last wine tasting, but I believe in sniffing your wine. Eighty percent of that oh, taste yeah. is going to be in your smell. Exactly. You 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 well, eat and taste through your senses. It's yes, not just you do. it's not just eating it and drinking it. It's the same with beer, and you can definitely tell the That's muscadine. Right. This is mus You can. This is a hundred percent muscadine right Give here. Give it a good swirl. Oh yeah. All right, now let's let's try this right here. This is what I call a wineado. Okay. Put it back down on the ground. All right. You want to introduce that air to that uh -oh. wine? Uh-oh. There we let go. Let it spin. Let it spin. There, there we, we go. go. Now what go. you've done is you've introduced air and you've opened up a bouquet. Go ah. ahead and give it a smell. Okay. Smell a little different. It does. It's a little sweeter. A little more stronger. Yeah, yeah. You opened it up. Air is your wine's friend or enemy. Oh, man. Right here at wine, Warm Springs Cellars. It's the place to be for your favorite local Georgia wines. We'll go ahead and give this one a taste right, right now. What's style is it? It is, is Golden Shirahi Harvest. This is Golden Harvest. Okay. This is the same winery that actually makes the Three Mile High um, after the Band of Brothers in their hike. They name one of their wines wow. that. So it's right there in that oh. area. Historical. If you love muscadines, I can remember picking them as a kid yeah. for the first time, finding them, picking them, eating them. It's like, oh man, mm -hmm. it definitely takes me back to the childhood memories of picking the muscadines. Nothing like it. Sunrise. I always cut up and say, you know, this would be great mm -hmm. in place of orange juice for breakfast. Mm. But make sure that's on a Saturday and Sunday, not on Monday. Exactly. We are oh, now that is some sweet Georgia, Georgia peaches. Peach <laughs> From muscadine to peaches, yes, you're getting my heart here absolutely. now. Oh, man. Now, the first sip of any wine is going to shock your palate, and that was your first sip. It Shockingly was. pleasant. Shock and all. Uh huh. This one here, I love the peach, don't get me wrong, it is mm. my favorite, but this strawberry here has got a tartness to it. You can always see oh, it. Oh, yeah, like. that brings when out. We see, we look for and it's got some legs in it. How beautiful with a beautiful little strawberry that on the side of that That is a plant. strawberry color. Uh, you definitely strawberry scented. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
makes those little things right there go pow, pow. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, God. That is fantastic, man. <laughs> so far, my favorite, I've got to say. Now, here at Warm Spring Cellars exclusively, if you really want to get fancy, have your strawberry wine and chocolate glass. Oh, yeah. Talk about, yeah, that's heaven. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, thank you, thank you. Ooh, and it's white and milk or dark? It is both. Both, Light oh my God. Chocolate. Now we don't make those here, but they are made in Georgia because everything ah, we have. Everything's we, local. We try to do now local, let's... absolutely. We give Georgia some love. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the dark red ones are fantastic also oh my with God. dark chocolate. Forget about chocolate covered cherries. <laughs> chocolate covered strawberries is where it at. Or I should say, chocolate cupped strawberry wine. That's right. And we'll go ahead and finish this up in just a little while. We're gonna continue with our wine train okay. and go to our fourth and final stop of the afternoon. Blackberry. And you can see it's got a nice dark black berry color to it. Why'd you mention that? Do you know what the name of that is? What is that? Midnight. Midnight. Oh, we're midnight on the midnight train, train to Georgia. Midnight train to Georgia, absolutely. <laughs> Hold up, don't leave oh, without me. Oh yeah, definitely got to join me on this one, Dawn. Salud. Let's take that first sip. Well, scent, blackberries. Mmm. Pow, pow. Oh yeah. Mm. I spoke too soon on a favorite wine last with the strawberries. I've always been impartial to blueberries and blackberries myself. And this definitely has that blackberry pow to it. Tell you what's great about Warm Springs Winery, we got colorful chalk on the slate stone uh, ah. bar here where you're gonna keep up with your favorite wines and you won't forget which yes. one's your favorite. Exactly, <laughs> and right here is one of the favorites. Thank you for the trip. You're welcome. Our beautiful conductress. Dawn, and I will be coming back at you shortly with more fun and excitement here at Drinking Across America as we journey through Warm Springs, Georgia. We'll take a quick break from the wine, wine cellar and we will be heading over to Goose and Hogs next to catch some of the live entertainment from Ain't Right. We'll try one or two of the good burgers over there and we'll talk to the lovely Sonia once again. So stay tuned everyone. Okay, all you drinkers across America following me, Ron Antonori, as I come back at you with another episode of Drinking Across America from Warm Springs, Georgia. This time we are at Goose and Hogs in downtown. As you can hear, man, we've got the end of summer party going on. It is the end of summer luau. Uh, we got live entertainment coming back at you very shortly on the main stage. We've got Ain't Right from Columbus, Georgia going to be taking care of you. We've got your favorite burgers, beers, brews, wine coming at you. That's right. You want to come out and get laid this Saturday afternoon. <laughs> this is the place to be. Warm Springs, Georgia. Historic Warm Springs. Here we are back at you in Warm Springs, Georgia with my lovely hostess. And now here we are at Goose and Hogs, which just opened recently. It did. Didn't? Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend, yes. yes. And uh, you had a great party then, kicking off the summer, and now we're ending summer with um, the Get Laid Luau. Get Laid Luau. Yes, yes. exactly. This <laughs> one is actually a very special one. Oh. And so River's Bend Winery made I it. feel very special that you... And it is called you, Zoe's Kabriski. That you are sharing it with me. This is the last bottle. I actually had it hiding in my closet. So oh. if an owner ever tells you they're out of something, no, we have one hidden back. Ah, yes. But this is actually the very last bottle in the entire bag. Oh. And what and it is... I appreciate it. You sharing it with me today. This one actually is a and whiskey barrel, oh. and so it is Cabernet meets whiskey. Ooh. Give me a little swirl. And what is the uh, alcohol on this? It's close to fourteen percent. Fourteen. Okay. Yeah. I am so glad that you decided to share it Thank with you. me Thank and all you. of my followers out there across the country. Oh, yeah. oh. oh yes, very good. Mm. Mm. Now, what do you taste in this? It's like a cherry. Yes, that is it. It's a cherry. It's a Luxardo <laughs> cherry is what it tastes like. 
Oh, I'm, I'm a bartender. It's yeah. like, I, I'm used to using like Sardo cherries in my uh, old fashions and my Manhattans. Yeah. And this is a very, well, yeah. You know what? I put you on the spot and you nailed it. And so yeah. it does. It tastes almost like cherry. Yeah. And you have a little bit of a brandy finish to it, which is weird, yeah. even though it's in a whiskey. Yes, yeah, very good. I'm glad that I, I love this. Mmm. We'll be back again up here drinking across America in Warm Springs, Georgia at Goose and Hogs and the Warm Springs Cellars owned by my good friend Sonia Adams. So until next time. Okay, so let's go ahead and. So anyway, what we're working on doing is I'm going to redo the garden. So I plant some lavender through here, pour some of that up, Ooh. and it's growing up more weeds faster than I can do it. But yeah. I'll be back out here refinishing some of the pathways this week, actually. Oh, and cool. And so um, we renovated this. The old bar uh -huh. used to not have the wall right here, and um, where the rain would blow in, uh -huh. and then the bar was like a U shape. I, I like the out setup the out here. Island. Uh -huh. Trying to make use of everything. Yeah. And so we planted some succulents up through this tree. We got some great people that we meet, you know, the local guys. Dell and Ace, man. Some of the local guys here in Warm Springs, Georgia, man all about the local music, the local beer, the local food, the local culture. And that's what we here at Lo Drinking Across America are all about is meeting local people and bringing the Americana back to America. Yeah, I love it. I love it, man. It is a pleasure to meet you gentlemen, man. It is a pleasure, man. It is not a curse. It's it a is gift not. to God. Remember that. Tell autism. it to the camera, man, because we got friends and family autism out there that autism. Asperger's is not a curse. It, it is, is not. A gift it is not from God. From Mental Asperger's. illness is not an illness. No, it's not. People think it is, and they don't understand it. But until you go through it, you've got to know what it's like. I suffer depression, and I am borderline manic depressive. PTSD. And I autism. tell people, man, that I'm all about it, man. OCD. You know, it's not fake. Do not deny it. It is not a disease. It is not something to fear people. It is autism. Something to learn. Autism. Depression. Mental illness. Your mental illness in general, man. I want to give a shout out because I do suffer it. And everyone that follows me, they know that I do. My friends, my family, they know because I'm not afraid to give it out there. You're still a good person. And we love you. You're our Everyone. voice. You're our voice. I am, man. Make a, make I am, it, man. And this it. is my brother, Ace, <laughs> here, drinking across America in Warm Springs, Georgia. These are the people we love Come to meet, man. Come get some good wine. Exactly, man. Come get some good wine, some good beer. Meet Ace and all your other fellows here in Warm Springs, Georgia, man. We're bringing it to you, drinking across America with Woo! your host, Ron Antonori. Coming back at you right after this. Okay, all you drinking across America, follow me, Ron Antinori, at Drinking Across America. Not only am I drinking across America, but I'm also eating across America as well. You know, because everywhere that we drink, you've got to eat because great food goes along with great beer and great wine. I am trying here at Goose and Hogs in Warm Springs, Georgia. This is the Cheese Biker Burger. It is a quarter pound Angus patty with lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, ketchup, mustard, and mayo. Let's go ahead and show you a little fully dressed action right there. It comes with your choice of either fries or chips. And we also have the Hawaiian Grilled Teriyaki Chicken Sandwich. And with that, we will open it up. Oh, it's got that teriyaki goodness. Something to go good with some of those ice cold brews. Brought at you down here at Goose and Hogs in Warm Springs, Georgia. And this is a grilled teriyaki chicken with pineapple, lettuce, and red onion. So it's gonna come off with a little bit of that teriyaki flavor that is always a little sweet and a little spicy. So you're down here in Warm Springs, Georgia. Come out to Goose and Hogs and enjoy one of these awesome burgers or sandwiches. We've got Sonia and the crew are taking care of you. So come on down and enjoy the view, enjoy the food, enjoy the beer. They are open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 
Friday from 11 to 2. Saturday and Sundays as well. So enjoy your weekend. Come out with your biking buddies. Enjoy a little burgers, some sandwiches, some ice cold beers. Be sure to check out the Warren Spring Cellars as well. And be sure to say hi to my good friend Sonia, the owner of Deuce and Hogs and the Warm Spring Cellars. It's always a pleasure to see you. And until next time, we're coming at you in Warm Springs, Georgia, with this episode of Drinking Across America with Ron Antonori. Enjoy. <laughs>